Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are actually going to be camping tonight, but in our backyard. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to just take you guys right along with us and just hang out with you guys for a few hours tonight. And then tomorrow, we are definitely going to have to clean up the mess that's going to be left in our kitchen because I know as soon as we start our whole camping trip even though we're at home i'm not going to come back in and tidy everything up so i'm gonna have a lot to clean up tomorrow but i thought this would be a lot of fun just to take you guys along with me maybe give you guys some fun ideas to do with your family this summer so without further ado let's get to it It's gonna rain on our parade. Do you feel that drops? I really hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are gonna be so bummed out. Yeah, it's starting to sprinkle, so this is not good news, but hopefully by the time we're done eating dinner, we can set the tent up and be dry still. <laughs> so wish us luck. Mom, is this mine? Is that whole plate yours? So once we had eaten dinner, we just started setting up our tents. We don't have a big tent for the whole family, but we have two smaller tents, so we just went ahead and set those up. And then once we got the tents all set up, Kyle started a fire for us. I think you can definitely see it on the boys' faces, but they were so incredibly excited for this. And it was really fun because it was just really nice and easy for us as parents. We just set up the tents and it didn't take much time at all. We didn't have to pack anything, but it was so much fun. And I know this is going to be such a good memory for our boys. I feel like whether you're in your backyard or you're actually out in the wilderness, you cannot go camping without having s'mores, at least in our family. We definitely don't go camping without having s'mores, but today we're actually using stuffed puffs and I'm so incredibly excited to be teaming up with stuffed puffs for today's video. We actually recently went camping and when we were using the traditional s'mores, we were having the hardest time getting the marshmallow to melt the chocolate and I actually ended up trying to put little pieces of chocolate inside of the marshmallow and I just remember telling Kyle, somebody really 
really needs to invent this. Put some chocolate inside the marshmallows and it would make s'mores so much easier. And it was probably not even two weeks later that we ended up seeing these in store. So we tried them out on a recent camping trip and we just adored them. So I'm really excited to share stuff puffs with you guys today and just tell you guys all about them. First off, they are so, so delicious. And I really love that they just take one extra step out of s'mores. So it makes it even more convenient for you. You don't have to buy extra chocolate bars or anything. Everything is all packed into these one little marshmallows. They come in different flavors so you can get vanilla or chocolate and all of them have real milk chocolate inside of them. We have loved using Stuff Puffs and I don't see us going back to the traditional s'mores just because this is so much easier and honestly I feel like they taste even better than traditional s'mores and the chocolate inside is so delicious when it gets all melty inside of the marshmallow. I feel like it's just the perfect s'more because all you need is your graham crackers and then your Stuffed Puff and that's it. You don't need extra bars of chocolate or anything because the Stuffed Puff marshmallows are already filled with real milk chocolate inside. And another thing that you can try out with these at home is if you do not have a campfire or a fire pit, you can heat them over your barbecue or your stove. You can even pop them into the microwave for about seven to 10 seconds and have a s'more that way. And then you can even just eat them on their own. My boys have probably eaten like an entire bag of these in the last few days. They just love them so much and they're such a fun and quick little treat. If you want to check out Stuff Puffs, I will have a link down below for you guys to check them out online. Otherwise, you can find them in store at Walmart, Aldi, CVS, tons of other stores. You can even find them on Amazon and StuffPuffs.com. Can use this to do it. No, you to do it. No. Here, no, you can pull it down. You want to pull it down? Yeah, no. There's a blanket. It's really, really squishy. Dad, what do you say for your blanket? It's pretty squishy in one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't use squishy. Oh my gosh, this is not working. Let's go. I can't see anything. Okay, so it's the next day and like I said, I did not come in and start cleaning anything once we got going with our backyard camping. And so I have a ton to do. We have all of dinner to clean up. I have a ton of dishes. Pretty much our whole main living area is just really trashed. And then I also, when we went downstairs to grab like sleeping bags and pillows and all that stuff for camping outside, I just realized, Man, the basement is like super trashed. So once I clean up up here, I'm actually gonna head downstairs and probably gather all the boys and they're just gonna help me tidy up everything downstairs. The mess was totally worth it. It was just such a fun experience. And it's just something that we love doing, especially when you might not have time off work or you just don't have the opportunity to go out to campgrounds or just make a big trip out of it. Sometimes it's just doing things at home. It's just really super fun to take a few minutes and do that with your family and it just creates so many good experiences. I remember camping with our family in our backyard growing up. It was just so much fun. So I'm really excited to be doing that with the kids. But without further ado, let's get to clean in because I have a lot, a lot to get done. So the first place that I wanted to tackle was the kitchen because I knew I had a lot to do and this was definitely the biggest task of the day or at least until we got to the basement, it seemed like it was the biggest task of the day just because there was so many dishes and I felt like the counters were just completely covered with everything and so I really wanted to tackle this first and that way I could just get it out of the way and then move on to kind of what I was feeling like was the easier tasks. You'll have to let me know in the comments, do you like to tackle a more easier chore when you get started to kind of build up momentum when you're cleaning? Or do you tend to tackle the toughest or biggest job first and then kind of go down from there? Thank you. 
So on most days, our boys will do their daily chores, one of which is unloading the dishwasher every morning. I don't remember what happened on this day. I think we were just busy and maybe they were helping Kyle with something. And for whatever reason, they didn't end up getting around to unloading the dishwasher. So I just went ahead and took care of it. And it does not really bother me at all to have to do this once in a while, just because they do take care of it most days. And I feel like that's just what family is all about is you're constantly picking up each other's slack as long as it's not just one way. And although every day is different, it just always tends to come out even in the end. So I didn't really mind at all emptying the dishwasher for them on this day. So this part I really wanted to keep in today's video. A lot of times you don't end up seeing kind of the behind the scenes or the things that just don't make it into the video. For example, my kids coming in every few minutes needing something from me and I have to pause and go help them with something. That is definitely a daily occurrence in our house. There's no way that I go hours and hours with uninterrupted time. It's just not realistic. And I feel like while I do tend to keep my videos very fast paced and just keep them motivating like that, I always love to share those real life moments with you guys and just let you know that you are not alone. I've said this so many times before, but I just wanna remind you guys, when you look out into social media or really just anywhere in life, you are only seeing bits and pieces of people's lives. You are not seeing the whole picture. So just know that you are not alone. And if you find yourself feeling a little bit frustrated or just feeling like life is not as ideal as it may appear in some other people's lives, just know that they are dealing with probably a lot of the same things that you are and you are absolutely not alone in this. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is here, don't need anybody else. We came to party all night long, and we don't need no chaperone. We don't need nobody's attention, yeah, we just wanna dance on our own. We came to party all night long.
so once I got our living room all tidied up, I just wanted to run the vacuum over the floor and get everything nice and clean. I feel like it doesn't really even look like our floors are that dirty, but trust me up close, they have tons of cat hair and dog hair and dirt and dust and lots of other little things that just happens in life. And I feel like no matter how often I vacuum them, there's just always some dirt on them. And I feel like lately even I've been struggling to vacuum every day. It's usually been about once every other day. And even that is only because I feel like I cannot get away with going three days because our floors just get so dirty so quickly. But I did want to ask you guys about our couch. We actually got it about a year ago. And although we like it quite a bit there are a few things that we don't love about it and one of the things that we don't love are the back cushions I feel like they're falling flat a lot so if you guys have any recommendations for that I would love to hear your thoughts they just have a fill so I don't know if I can just buy more fill and stuff that into them I'm kind of thinking that might be what we try to do I feel like I just don't love the look of it because it looks so saggy at this point so if you guys have any tips or recommendations for that definitely let me know in the comments So once we got the whole spider situation taken care of, we just started working as a team in the basement. I felt like this would be such a big job if the kids weren't helping. And especially since a majority of this was their mess, they kind of tend to hang out down here a lot now that our basement is finished. I really wanted to make sure to include them in this. I know you guys don't always see this part in videos either. A lot of times it's just easier for me to film with a camera without everybody and just have me do it by myself when I'm filming. However, we typically will do a family clean probably once a day, sometimes every other day, but we do it very often. And I've gotten a lot of questions about how we get our kids to clean. And first of all, I would say it's not a perfect situation all the time. We usually have to give them a bit of direction in the beginning. And then as we get going with it, they kind of pick up momentum and just kind of start cleaning it better on their own. But we also let our kids know that the reason that we clean as a family is because we all live here, we all make this mess, and we also share incentives like as soon as we're done cleaning, we can do something as a family instead of having one of us do this and it will take us like an hour. If we all pitch in, it will take just like 10 minutes. I feel like kids, once you kind of explain things like that to them, they really are very understanding of that and I feel like they get really eager to help. So definitely try to include your kids. I know some days it's just a little bit harder to include them, but for the most part, I found that it just makes it so much nicer when we all pitch in together. So as Kyle was vacuuming, we decided to have a friendly little competition and we each vacuum different parts of the floor. We both kind of have like different vacuum line styles. So vote down below who you think has the best vacuum lines. There will be no hard feelings or anything. We're just curious because obviously we both think ours are the best. So let us know in the comments who you vote for. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you tons of cleaning motivation and also just some entertainment and some summer fun. I'm so excited that we got to share this with you guys. And do not forget to go check out Stuff Puff at your local grocery store or online as I said I will have that link down below for you guys do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one bye guys